everyone, this is RG Jen and welcome to Hashtag Blue Mic English Edition, your independent favorites. Well, this is an initiative of Big FM and Hangama Artists Allowed. So we're delighted to feature the band here. It's really a wonderful, soulful band. And if you listen to their music, you're going to really love them as well as they can make you dance if they want to. So... <laughs> The band that I am talking about is Easy Wanderlings. Hi, guys. Hey, hi. 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 Thank you. Thank you for having us. Thank you for doing this with us as well. So how have you been? Good. Great. So, all right. Let's go back to the beginning. Tell us about Easy Wanderlings and your kind of music that you play. Um, sure. Um, so Easy Wandlings is a, you know, we are an eight piece uh, band currently based in Pune, but we are all from different parts of India. And uh, we started, uh, we released our first album in 2017. And uh, yeah, ever since we've had quite an amazing adventure performing in all kinds of places around the country, festivals and uh, yeah, it's been uh, quite an interesting journey. Yeah. Um, in terms of uh, the kind of music that we uh, listen to and we play, it's kind of uh, soul, pop, a uh, lot of acoustic stuff, but a lot of funk and disco as well. I think it's kind of varied because we got eight members who listen to different stuff and kind of comes together when we sit down and write the tracks. Um, so yeah, that's the easy wandering. It's kind of got this traveling vibe with our music because we love to kind of go on adventures whenever we can. Um, light, sometimes a little strong too, so uh, it's all over the place. Yeah, much like ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, coming to your inspiration, I know you all will have different inspirations, but as a band, who are your major influences? As a band, I would say that we listen to a lot of John Mayer, if I'm going to like generalize it. So John Mayer, uh, Kings of Convenience, Simon and Garfunkel. So there's like a lot of old school stuff that, uh, you know, a lot of roots, blues, that kind of thing. But we're also, you know, we also listen to hip hop. We also listen to uh, R&B. So in the later songs that we put out, you can see a little bit of that coming in but the first album was very acoustic very light uh, and i think kings of convenience simon and garfunkel were like the main influencers for that eagles um yeah all right so on that note guys how about the performance from you all so this is uh enemy one of our latest tracks from the ev um and uh, fun fact is that this got miraculously featured in uh this year's crazy release called Gehraya. so <laughs> if you have watched the movie somewhere in the background in the movie it's playing for like 10 seconds so <laughs> watch the movie just, to just see for that <laughs> all right, right. Much 
for that lovely performance and i really enjoyed the song so all right guys you started in the year 2015 but by 2018 people are already rating you guys as the top 10 indie artists to watch so that's really amazing right but yeah were there any challenges that you faced perhaps that we don't know of maybe you know yeah. time when you doubted yourself Uh, I think at least for us when we started in 2015 it was pretty much just like guitars and vocals it was just like a three piece kind of a band and uh, we had actually put out some stuff on SoundCloud we didn't even like properly record any of our music we had just put out like one or two songs on SoundCloud and someone from NH7 heard us and called us to play at NH7 the next year so we kind of had to it was a challenge on how to go from like a two three piece acoustic band to then becoming like a eight nine piece band where we had to figure out how to get instrumentalists and we had to figure out how to basically make a live set and a lot of people come there to watch artists so i think that growth had to happen within like few months a couple of yeah. months yeah. so that was a little bit of a struggle on how to kind of get everybody together and get a chemistry working together that took a little while and uh, actually at nh7 the first one we played it wasn't actually that great now that we look back at it we're like oh my god that was not a very good performance at all but at that point that was like something we were struggling to do and now that from 2018 we've been playing a lot of shows yeah. uh, so i kind of able to then from there be get have more chemistry as a band jam or get used to each other understand how to work in such a big group i think uh, that's what we faced challenging right in the beginning when we started yeah correct and usually i think uh, when we tour as a band and all that sometimes it can be challenging but it's not uh, because once we are on the road like it really doesn't matter because we have traveled with not just eight members but with our they are families and a lot more people so we kind of need like a lorry or something next time <laughs> you know so what are some of the highlights you now between 2015 2002 to 2018 that you know that will stay with you guys till the end highlights well um, okay i don't know if i can go in order but uh, well well number one was playing nsm that was the first highlight that was really important for us um, as a band um and then there were our tours i don't think we we only done about three tours and, I, and when we did it, it was like oh man there's a lot but we've only done three national tours in the time that we've been a band and those all three of them were highlights for me it, uh, i think for all of us but um it was an incredible experience to travel the country playing our music and right from the first tour there were at least 50 people who had just come to see us that number slowly grew and grew but to have 50 people travel from you know one guy came from indore uh, to see a delhi show was just because he heard we were coming so mm-hmm. all of these tours were really big for us um we got invited to play at the south by southwest festival 2 uh, years ago it's a it's a pretty big scout festival in the us um you know for music for film for business it's 10 days uh, long in austin and you know they have about 100 bars there Uh, each bar is curated for seven artists and it's basically a really incredible experience we were all really excited to go visa was taken care of flight tickets and then finally pandemic happened and uh, we couldn't get to go 
But it was a highlight before. It was a highlight. Yeah. 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 It's still, it's still a highlight. It's still there on, like you know, our press kit and stuff. Invited to some place. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I think even though it was just an invite, it's still something really, really uh, special, special yeah. to us because it shows us that people abroad are interested in stuff like this in music that's coming out of India. Um, that was a great highlight. So, um, all right, guys. How about we go into another performance? This one is called Enjoyed with the Lusts. by the band Easy Wonderlings. So as a band, you've released an album, an EP, and a few singles. So uh, do you think that, you know, there are some core musical and lyrical themes that you've arrived at? If so, um, what are they? I think, uh, see, our lyrics, I think we talk about basic conversations, observations, uh, anything that's in our head, you know, maybe a conversation that we are going to have might inspire us. So, uh, I think uh, we talk about as many diverse things as possible. For example, Enemy talks about freedom of expression or how to deal with that in the current era where everybody, uh, you know, in a world where we're struggling to express ourselves and not hurt anyone, uh, the challenging challenges of not hurting on anyone um, in a world where everybody is easily offended, right? So we were also trying to wonder how do we even put out Instagram content if you want to tell something genuinely, some guy is going to get angry at us. We didn't want to be their enemy, but it's so hard. Uh, so it was kind of that expression. Um, and for our, in our first album, our dream to keep us going is is something that everybody can relate to you know just having a dream itself is so special uh, so we thought it'd be that is enough that is that itself is enough a reason for us to keep living and moving on um, yeah i think analytically we do jump like if we analyze the music we do kind of jump around in terms of genres a lot but i think at the core of it there is something that uh, is us like has our personality and has our stamp on it like the easy wandering stamp somehow so, you know because even with the funk track because the first album like nobody would have thought like you know easy wandering would have come out like the funk track but that is us too you know and somehow we man- managed to capture the easy wandering vibe through that too and ideally we'd like to kind of widen the sound of what is an easy wandering sound to as much uh, spaces as we can so yeah that's nice. So on that positive note, time for us to go into another performance by the band Easy Wanderling. Okay. <laughs> So I'ma go find myself a golden beast that will greet me 
nice and easy. Simple long island ice tea with the pretty little lady beside me. And here's the sea breeze. All we need is a dream to keep us going. This is all we need is a dream to keep us going. Ooh, about time I stop waking up, along to the tremble and blows up. Construction work getting green, open spaces all in the name of progress. They keep on building, gotta go on spilling, hurting the world we live in. And I dream of the day we would stop and think. And for once believe we can turn this around Give it up for the ones who reach for the stars Turn things around while the others sit and frown Give it up for the ones who gave it all up Stood for the truth for you and for me Give it up for the ones who said Hey with the past Stop from scratching all I can give it up, give it up for you and for me. But it all started with the blues. Started with the blues. Back in the dream. All we need is a dream to keep us going. This is all we need is a dream to keep us going. guys i feel really lucky <laughs> because you know why why i'm getting a free live performance <laughs> yeah you want the link <laughs> so yeah you guys made my day thank you so much i enjoyed thank you, thank every you. bit of your performance so all right guys we have a budding artist here with us and he is sumit hi so sumit welcome to the hashtag blue mic english edition and we have here with us the band easy wanderlings and easy wanderlings here is sumit yo, yo how's it going? <laughs> Well, anyway, so uh, like um, the your name is easy, but definitely I saw your composition. That was not easy. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was really great. All right, so Sumit, how about a performance from you? Yes. Okay, so well, uh, well, I'm a one-man band. I don't have eight people with me. Go for it. what do you think of sumit's performance anyway well i'm glad uh, you guys asked him to play an original because that was that was what we were looking forward to listen listening to so uh, yeah that was refreshing dude so thanks for playing us that it was cool thank you so much i do have one question for you so uh, you have played a lot of gigs in north india as well right yeah uh, fair fair bit yeah 
Yeah, yeah. Do you get this request when you are like when you are playing Western music? Basically, what you love to play, you are playing, and all of a sudden a guy comes up to the stage and he's like, "Play something Hindi." What do you feel about that? Well, it hasn't happened to us actually. Uh, in the sense that I think it depends on which venue and which space. You know, now if you're playing at a bar gig. and you're playing covers or even if you're trying to play originals then it's most likely that that's going to come um and while that's it might be irritating for the artist it definitely is irritating i've had like people come and be like can you play the song that song all that's fine but in a bar space you have to expect that people you're there to play for the people and sometimes they want they want you to play some stuff um so again i would say venue specific like that, that that's not going to happen at a festival that's not going to happen at a your own concert your own concert so, so until that just got to wing it you got to it yeah and then take it you got to you know don't put up your price just right. figure it out till that time where you've got your own stage and you can play your music yeah okay well, thank you i really wanted to know that all right thank you so much uh, sumit and we wish you the very best once again with your upcoming album and an ep all right thank you all the best all the best, all the best man take care thank you and uh, thank you so much you too and thank you so much for that amazing track i really loved it thank you all right we're still with the band easy wanderlings in hashtag the blue mic english edition your independent favorites so guys the word indie music is a buzzword now and everything you know it's it's happening a lot on that front including us so is it really a good time to be an indie artist now what are your thoughts on this um i think definitely for sure because the infrastructure for that is so much better than how it was 10 years ago uh not even from uh, the recording uh, spaces have been cheaper uh you know more people uh, who are experienced in production uh, are out there um you know reaching out to another person who you need for advice is also out there through instagram you can pretty much reach out to a lot more people uh hiring musicians have become a lot more cheaper you can work with an artist from any part of the world uh by reaching out to them so so many things have become so much more uh, accessible. accessible i think that the fact that you can just anybody can upload music right yeah. anybody can upload music to such a wide audience i think that is definitely helped like indie artists like for sure and another thing is i feel like now as we said before like uh, there are more indie musicians composing for otts and commercials and singing for so many more uh, things on radio like everything and uh, i think it's really growing uh, the indie community is really growing a lot more people a lot more indians are kind of discovering what indie music is at least indian indie music Um so it's a great great time to be an indie musician I think yeah All right so finally what can we look forward from the band Easy Wanderlings in the near future Well the EP is the top priority uh we we have pretty much done recording it now we're going into the final stages of mixing and mastering and just cleaning it up and um it's going to be an exciting ep because it is kind of different genres within the same ep as well but again as we said like there is an easy wanderlings kind of theme running through it yeah. we have a few uh fun collaborators on this uh we're going to tell you who that is yeah. so yeah that's it's gonna a surprise be- yeah. <laughs> uh so yeah and uh, this is also like this kind of music is different from our previous two eps that we put out so for us also it's exciting it's a new learning yeah. it's a new like learning to understand how to kind of get this yeah. sound in a nice easy one like space um and how to make it sound cohesive within that so it's really exciting for us and uh, yeah it's going to be a really and these are some of our favorite tracks i think that we've ever written yeah, so it's going to be fun yeah and also <laughs> after the ep we will pr- plan an again a nationwide tour later so hopefully see you guys in yeah. person uh, so sometimes yeah. <laughs> looking forward to it and i'm excited as well to listen to your new ep so you, we wish you. you the very best and guys before you go please another performance we'll give you a mellow one to uh, soothe into your afternoon please please
So guys, I hope you've enjoyed watching the band Easy Wandling. So once again, thank you so much, guys, and till the thank next. You thank you, thank you, thank you all for having us. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you.